हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पोएट्री एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ पोएट्री सोनेट इज वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ अ पोएट्री इट ओरिजिनेटेड इन इटली इन द थर्टीन सेंचुरी देर आर टू कॉमन फॉर्म्स बोथ ऑफ विच हैव लॉट्स ऑफ रूल्स शुड यू वॉन्ट टू फॉलो द रूल्स ऑफ सोनेट देन यू विल बी राइटिंग इन the petrarchan sonnet which is also called as italian sonnet and the shakespearean sonnet or elizabethan sonnet this is actually the product of a british literature sonnets traditionally have the 14 lines and are often about love lost love married love forgotten love the longing for love and its track william wordsworth is actually known for his 130 sonnets Edmund Spenser, Philip Sidney, and Word William Wordsworth also wrote one of the greatest sonnets in English literature. The next form of poetry is epic. <clears throat> An epic poem is lengthy narrative work of poetry. These long long poems typically detail extraordinary feats and adventures of characters. from a distant past the word epic comes from the ancient greek term epos which means story or word poem epic poems are very lengthy books epics are always divided into 12 books in in european literature odyssey and ulysses these are the best epic uh, even in our indian history Ramayana and Mahabharata are the best examples of Indian epic. The next form of poetry is the ballad. If you want to read a story or tell a story in a poem, the ballad is for you. It means that if you are telling a story and if you are reading a story in the form of verse, it is, it is actually a ballad. It is an old traditional form that used to be passed down orally from one generation to the next ballads are written in quatrains group of four lines and have a rhyme scheme of ab ab or ab cb the lines alternate between having eight syllables and six syllables but the ballad is a loose enough form that you can make of it whatever you want we can simply put ballad as a story told in the form of verse is called a ballad this is one of the oldest uh, form of a poetry which transmitted from one generation to another generation in the form of stories